So make a note of that! Now, Rex Fury has been a habitual criminal since he was six years old. Good heavens! At that age, he would have still been in preschool. Elementary, my dear fellow. <laughs> we got our break when a secret witness came forward. Well, secret until somebody accidentally gave their identity away! Natalia's testimony enabled us to arrest Rex. He tried getting away, but foolishly chose a lawnmower as his escape vehicle. Pull the lawnmower over! His other mistake was in doubting the ability of the man who finally arrested him! Me! If Rex is behind the crime wave, then he needs to be back behind bars. So, to help catch whoever's behind it, I've had security cameras installed at key locations. The museum, Forrest Blackwell's mansion, and, of course, the banks. What the... <laughs> Briefing's over! Everyone get to the bank! Oh, uh, just one more thing, Chief. What the... clowns? Huh? Huh? What? Get after that Joker! Right? You gotta help me! Don't worry. You, left and forward. You, back and right. You, left and right, then left a bit more. You, keep doing what you're doing. I like it. <laughs> you, ma'am, I'm gonna need your car. Natalia! <gasps> You've destroyed my car! Wasn't wrecking my life enough for you? You look exactly as I remember you. <laughs> Don't try and sweet-talk me. I had to change my identity because of you. I even had to change the color of my hair. You weren't a blonde before? You... what? Ugh. I'm going to my dad's cabin to say goodbye, and then I'm getting out of Lego City. Will I see you again? No! Uh, sir? I'm Chase. I think Ellie told you I was coming. She certainly did. Nice to meet you, Chase. Duke Huckleberry's a name, and I know all about you. Excuse me for saying so, because I know you made a mistake. But shipping you off sure seemed a bit harsh, especially as you got that witness to come forward in the first place. Yeah, well, I learned from my mistakes. I won't do anything that stupid again. Whoa! You okay? Yeah, fine. Do you have a grapple gun with you? Well, I sure do. You're welcome to one of those useless pieces of junk. Darn things didn't help me one little bit with old Bessie. Huh? Striped bass. Great. About yay long? Ooh. What? Nothing. Anyway, uh, I'd better go. I've gotta go arrest some robbers. Sure. Uh, good luck with that grapple gun. These things can be tricky to use. Whoa!
Good thing I don't have vertigo or some other ridiculous phobia. Tell me who you're working for. Uh, it's, uh, uh George. Uh, George, uh, Fod, Tom, Benson, Barry. Aw, uh, come on. Uh, I can't tell you. Uh, he'll take me apart. All right, I work for Rex Fury. Rex, where is he? I don't know. I never see him. He just phones me. Then who would know? Search me. Maybe Blue. He's the fixer in Albatross prison. Go see him. Just, just don't let me fall. Ah! You seem very well informed for a car thief. Yeah, well, I pick things up. Not anymore, you don't. George? George Fartar Bensonbury? Hey, long time no see, Dave. Hey, are you blue? Mm. I've had better days, Sonny. I'm Chase. <clears throat> I heard you might know about Rex Fury. Rex Fury? That man owes me. For helping him escape? Oh, why would I do that? Rex was my biggest customer until he disappeared, <laughs> owing me for a hot tub. You know how difficult it is to smuggle one of them in? Mm. Speaking of which... Careful with Haywood's new car, hmm? Sure, Blue! So how did Rex escape? Well, that's the question on everyone's lips. Except no one's allowed in his cell to find out. Not even the police. That's not right. But we both want to see Rex back in here. So I've got an idea. Get some gear from the cupboard in my cell. Then I'll call you with more information on this. That's a croissant. We aren't allowed phones in here. The phone's inside it. Put your number in. Go! Oh. <laughs> there. I hope this plan of yours works, Blue. Uh, are you free, man? No. No, I am not Freeman. His lawyers might be watching. What's the matter, Haywood? You don't like your new car? Car? <laughs> Need a hand? I couldn't hurt. Think you're up to getting all those fellers back in their cells? All in a day's work. What's happening out there? I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. I also don't know why those guys are dancing together. And how did he get that saucepan on his head? Hmm. Okay. There is a lot I don't know. Let me out! Let me out! McCain! Warden Stonewall called me. I won't tell you what he called me, but it wasn't nice. It was a nincompoop. It looks like Rex used this hammer to dig his way out of prison. It came from the Bluebell Mine. Gimme that! If there's any deducting to do, I'll do it! Whoa. Hmm... Interesting. It's a hammer. And... where's it from? There's no way to tell, but the Bluebell Mine seems as good a place to start as any. You see, the, there was a theft there a few months ago. 
I'll get over there right away, Chief. Not so fast, McCain. Sheriff Huckleberry can look into it. Stay away from the mine. That's an order. Hey, Chief, can I get a shot for the Herald? Uh, you sure he didn't use this? Watch the birdie! I'm looking for Clarence Stinky Fletcher. Other end of the main cavern. Whew, you can't miss him. I'll tell you, I sure won't when he retires. Hoo-hoo-wee! <laughs> there he is! Blow the charges! <gasps> With the detonator! Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> what the? Crab cakes! <laughs> All right, which one of you lot did that? For the last time, will people stop playing with dynamite? Oh, and you! Get some safety gear on! Uh, aye, aye, sir! Long time no see, McCain. Rex Fury! Looking for someone? What's that? Wow. Leave him. There's nothing he can do. My guy says he's found someone to steal us a nice new truck. Courtesy of the Lego City PD. Oh! Turn that noise off! Ow! Ow! Did an ice cream truck hit me? It looks that way, but no. You got beat up, Chase. Good thing Dunby sent me up here. Duke, ow. I was looking for a miner, but... Rex got to him first. Try not to speak. Natalia, you came here for me? <laughs> no. He'll be fine. Then why? I was in the area. Her daddy's gone missing. What? Don't worry, Natalia. I'll find him. I'll find him. Without you. I never should have testified against Rex Fury. If Rex has got her daddy, and you're planning on rescuing him, then you're gonna need to learn how to defend yourself. Go see this guy. He knows Kung Fu. Mm. Barry Smith. 24-hour plumber and Kung Fu guru? Unblocking pipes and chakras since 1987. Huh. It's worth a try. I'm here to see Be- Shh! Have a listen to this. Welcome to Learn Kung Fu While You Sleep. Relax. You are now completely relaxed. <laughs> The end. I know Kung Fu. Show me. And plumbing? Maybe I should start you off against a few of my students. You have done well. Take this belt with you as a sign of your skill. I can't accept this, Barry. Why? Oh, hello. Do you mind if I drive it from here? I want to show Ellie that I can be trusted. All right. Enjoy getting your photo in the papers, Frank. I can't wait all day, Marion. I have to reopen the bridge this afternoon. Where is that truck? As if I'm interested in fame and fortune. Oh! <gasps> My public! Ah, here it comes, Mayor Gleason. <laughs> right on time. Here I am with our new truck! Good old Frank Honey delivers again! Come in!
coming through! Honey! Honey! Out of the way! Sorry, madam! Hi there, Mayor Gleason! Hey, Chief! Dunby! Honey! Waffles! What are we doing? Well, what did you expect to happen with Frank driving it? This is your fault, Marion. Whoa! Chase, give me some good news. Have you found Rex Fury? Well... How could you find him? I mean, the Chief told you to stay off his case. Oh, really? <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> it isn't, Chase. No? That's right. I was just about to, to send him undercover in, uh, uh, Cheng Chuang's gang? I think he's linked to Rex. Uh, yes! <laughs> hmm. Well, that was broke when I got here. Blackwell! Blackwell! Say cheese! Can I get a picture? Watch the birdie! Say cheese! Mr. Blackwell! Are you still thinking about the scandal? Why won't you let anyone in your tower anymore? Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? Gentlemen, please, give Mr. Blackwell some privacy. He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? One more question, sir. What? Where are you going? Hey, where are you Forrest going? Blackwell, sir, what don't happened? leave me. It's my job. Perfect. I'm here about a promotion. You? You look like a cop. Well, I'm not. See? Ugh. Greetings, driver. You want to make some money? Stop that! I will fire you, prancing fools! <laughs> uh, uh, what do you got in mind? Getaway driving? Not so fast. Careful driving? No! First, you have to prove yourself. Here is a list of instructions. Follow them, and then report to my salvage yard. And don't get caught like those knuckleheads did! Sure thing, Mr. Chan. Please, call me sir. Why are you still here?! What are they doing in there? One, two... Chan's men were after me. They kinda are. I'm undercover in his game. Why were you in his office? I'm trying to find my dad, Chase. What? Like in a filing cabinet? No, no. I mean that just before he disappeared, he was seen getting into a limousine. One of Chan's? I think so. But the only stuff I found in Chan's office were empty money bags from Papalardo's. Papalardo's? Yeah, the ice cream place with the trucks, you know. Yeah. I remember. So if Chan's working for Vinny Papalardo's gang, is it Vinny that's working for Rex? Hey! Where are you going? Chan must be keeping my dad somewhere else! Stop! It's too risky! I'll find your dad! It's the least I can do! I am not gonna let you endanger my dad just so you can make up for the past! That's not! 
why I want to help you. This ain't the last you've seen of Modaluka. I can do this sentence standing on my head. Thanks to my circus trainers. There's the paperwork. We won't be seeing Mo DeLuga back on the street for at least eight years. Thanks to those parking tickets. Another job done and the final day of my 36-year-long career finished. And all without a single blemish. Hey, Pat! I'm here for Mo DeLuca. Vinny Papalardo ran the biggest gang in Lego City. And now, he wanted to see me. His ice cream parlor was a gathering place for local hoodlums. There was Tony one time. So called because he said everything once. Hey! Polly blindfolds. No, tell him I can't see him today. Lucky Pete. Good to see ya! Whoa! No! Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh. Hey, I found the penny! Ugh. The crayfish twins. <gasps> Sorry, wrong table. And Mikey spoilers. Check it out. When you get to the space center, you can knock down a planet from the ceiling to get a secret item. I'm here to make you laugh? You think I'm funny? Funny how? Uh, uh, uh I, I'm sorry, boss. I didn't Get mean to- Get out of here and unload that truck! <coughs> hey, you must be Chase. You come highly recommended. I won't forget what you did for my cousin. Oh, ignore the clothes, kid. It's my boy's birthday. I wanted to give him a nice surprise, you know? I've been looking forward to getting my hands on the stuff you got me for some time. They're called color guns, and they're of particular benefit to the less than legitimate fraternity. You know, us guys. Now, I need someone to see if these things really work by stealing the Bell Pepper Emerald from the Lego City Bank in downtown. You want to put one through its paces? Well, I've come this far. That's right. And don't worry about how to use it. I'll have a read through these instructions and phone them through to you. Good luck, Chasey! <laughs> I am going to have to shower for a week after this. This place. Sorry! I meant to have this place on Tuesdays, but the people listen to me? No! And they call this organized crime. Sheesh, that is one small step, Foreman. Perfect. While they're all busy working on the shuttle, I can just get to the moon buggy, which is somewhere around there. Ah, uh, in the middle of the shuttle. Hey, that's my car. It's not your car. You are so possessive. Fine, it's our car, but it isn't his. Come on! Chance men better be waiting for me at the dock! Help! Somebody help! There's Blackwell. I'm being abducted! Against my will! 
Can anyone hear me? Yeah, I can. I mean, other than my abductors. We're here. <laughs> Mr. Blackwell, ha, I am so relieved you're safe. I can barely sleep. Thank you again, Chase. You sleep during work hours? Well, uh, uh, let me take you inside. Thank you. Farewell, Chase McCain. I'm sure we will meet again. <laughs> oh, that rhyme. Where's my backup? You're meant to be here by now. Hey, Chase. Okay, Studsky and Clutch are here. Where's the lady in distress? Clutch, Studsky, thanks for this. Natalia's in Chan's salvage yard. The chief arrested some of his gang earlier, but he's still got a lot of heavies in there. Do you have a disguise for me? Do we ever? <laughs> that is perfect, Studsky. Really? They belong to our friend Huggy. He has no sense of personal space. Let's go rescue this girl. Come on! I'm gonna have to take these things off. Oh, oh, he made me eat ice cream. Cold it! Oh. Studsky! Let's make ourselves scarce before the Chief shows up. See ya, Chase! Thanks, guys. And you've got to keep out of this, Natalia. I'll find your dad. I promise. I don't want to see you get hurt. Okay. Okay. Stay out of trouble. I will. Starting from now? Chase! Hey! Hi, Frank. What did you do to get sent out here, then? Are you sure you're a qualified plumber, honey? Of course! Ah. Honey! Nothing? That's right, deputy! Huh? I got you cornered! It's just you and me, Frank. Because I I'll sent your boss fight. on a wild goose chase. Side. After a wild goose. <laughs> Say, oh, prayers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey there, Chase. We're just finishing rehearsing our play. <laughs> okay. You gotta do something to fill your days around here. Nothing exciting ever happens. I, uh, the front door was locked? <laughs> Calm down, Derek. Don't worry, you two. Your chief warned me you were coming, and I've drawn up a work roster. Frank, you'll be in charge of making sure we do not run out of coffee. You can trust me, Sheriff Huckleberry. And Chase. I broke the coffee machine. <laughs> Language! Well then, both of you be rounding up Farmer Hayes' escaped pigs. His farm's to the south of here. I'd go myself, but it's curtains up tonight, and I still don't know all my lines. We're on it. Made me eat ice cream. Cold it! Oh. Studsky, let's make ourselves scarce before the chief shows up. See ya, Chase! Thanks, guys. 
And you've got to keep out of this, Natalia. I'll find your dad. I promise. I don't want to see you get hurt. Okay. Okay. Stay out of trouble. I will. Hey! Starting from now? Chase! Hey! Hi, Frank. What did you do to get sent out here, then? Are you sure you're a qualified plumber, honey? Of course! Ah. Honey! Nothing? That's right, deputy! Huh? I got you cornered! Huckleberry's in It's just you and me! Frank, Because I sent your boss on a wild goose you chase! Side. After a wild oh. goose! Say oh. Prayers? Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey there, Chase. We're just finishing rehearsing our play. <laughs> okay. You gotta do something to fill your days around here. Nothing exciting ever happens. I... Uh, the front door was locked? Calm down, Derek. Don't worry, you two. Your chief warned me you were coming, and I've drawn up a work roster. Frank, you'll be in charge of making sure we do not run out of coffee. You can trust me, Sheriff Huckleberry. And Chase. I broke the coffee machine. <laughs> Derek! Language! Well then. Both of you will be rounding up Farmer Hayes' escaped pigs. His farm's to the south of here. I'd go myself, but it's curtains up tonight, and I still don't know all my lines. We're on it. Sir. Huh, at last! You have to find my pigs! And this is why I became a policeman. They're mountain pigs! Incredibly rare! I'm going out of my mind with worry! Going! <laughs> have no fear! This is Chase McCain! If anyone's qualified to find your pigs, it's him! Thank you, honey! Well, they shouldn't be too hard to find. It's not like they can fly. Oh, well, they're mountain pigs. They could be anywhere. Ah! Oh! Oh! Hi. Uh, I better stay here in case they come back. Fine. I should be looking for Rex Fury. You'll need to look like a farmer, or they'll run off. I got some spare overalls and a hat you can borrow. Great. Thanks. I used to wear them to muck out the pigs. Oh. Then, I locked them in a cupboard because they stinked up so bad. And, uh, well, buried the key in a field for safety. Right. And now they're haunted! Don't worry about this job, Chase. Consider a payback for how much the gift shop charged for that dinosaur pen when you were 11. Feathers. Four letters. Hmm. Hmm. Down? No, across. What? That's right, 
Chase. Keep it low key. Okay, recruit, what is your name? Pete. Peterson, sir. Right, Pete Peterson. Being a fire officer is all about team effort. Team effort! Isn't that right, McGurkey? What? Don't help him. It means knowing what your fellow officer is thinking. What is my favorite flavor of cake, Pete Peterson? Uh, chocolate? Even the new recruit knows! Ah! Well then, Pete Peterson, we'd better start your training. What are you doing, man? I haven't given you any instructions yet. Sorry, I, I got a little excited. Fire extinguishers are not toys. They are not to be played with. Follow me over here. Whee! This is Officer Lopez Delgado. Hola. He'll give you your basic training. I've got to write a talk on the importance of buying the right flavor of birthday cake. What do you think that little joystick does? Don't know. Try moving it. Move! It don't do nothing, see? Just leave it alone, then. Whoa. So it looks like I know how to fly a helicopter, then. And now I know that you have to switch off their engines after you land. I suppose I owe you an apology. I know you've been trying to protect me. <laughs> I was just worried about my dad. And I know you didn't mean to reveal my identity during Rex's trial. Oh, right. So why have you been such a pain? Well, I still wasn't happy about it. When I first met you, I trusted you completely. I, I might have even had some feelings. So when you just left like that... Feelings? <laughs> Shut up. So, would you like to see a movie sometime? <laughs> You're actually kind of sweet, Chase. But you're married to your job, and I don't date married men. How about coffee? Just find my dad, Chase. Tea? A tiny cookie? Ice cream? Ice cream. Vinny's meeting with Rex. Please don't have left the restaurant yet. Hey, Chase. I figured this tunnel would look fancier, seeing as Blackwell's so rich. It ain't finished, is it? Blackwell lost interest in building stuff after the scandal. Oh yeah, what was the deal with that? What? Have you been on holiday for the last few years? <sighs> Not quite. Blackwell was gonna build this massive apartment complex with a mall and everything up in Bluebell National Park. But then someone finds some sort of rare squirrel there, so City Hall stops him. By then, he'd already spent billions building Blackwell Bridge to connect the park to uptown. That must have been embarrassing for him. Oh yeah, he didn't take it kindly. Vowed he'd never build anything again. Right. Now, we gotta be quiet. Who are you? Uh... <coughs> Intruder escaping! Sentinels pursuing!
Perfect! Here we go. Sentinel 2, get after him. Go, go, go! Don't let him escape! Faster! What is going on in there? Oh, you guys are making a big mistake. When Rex finds out you did this. Ha ha ha! Who do you think sent us? What? Why did he... I'm sorry. What's that? I can't hear you. Oops. <laughs> I broke the handle. <gasps> I said... Why... Did... <laughs> I gotta get Vinny out of there. What the? Uh, ow! That hurt. Oh! Oh! Hey, get me out of this thing, or Rex or Rex ain't here. Why did he send you guys? I ain't telling you nothing. It's okay, Vinny. I think I know how to make him talk. Eat some more. Uh, oh, yeah, that's mm, so delicious. Ow, ow, ow. Great freeze. Here comes the airplane. Mew. No, stop. All right, I'll tell you anything. Where's Rex? I don't know. Honest, I don't. But I know how you can get to him. I meant to do some kind of job tonight, in the construction yard at Paradise Sands. You could take my place. Y you kind of look like me. Hey, you are the same height. If you're lying... Don't worry, Chase. I'll keep him here. I got a few questions of my own I'd like answered. Yeah, no, no! Whoa! Is that the blueberry and pomegranate ice cream? Oh, that stuff is amazing. Mm. Oh, wow. That is going straight to my hips. Can I get some sprinkles? Are you sure you turned the power off? Yeah. The light went red on the fuse box. Oh, by the way, my doctor told me I was colorblind this morning. <laughs> Ah, uh, you stupid! Somebody, get him to the chopper. I, I mean, hospital. Uh, now who's going to cover his shift? Nope. Not me. No uh, way. I've got plans. Nope. No way. How about me? You are plumbing a water main, not saving the world, Damkov. Uh, fine. You need a uniform. You, give him your clothes, your helmet, and your hammer. No, oh, it's okay. I'll find another one. Get out of the crane, Jimmy! Uh, sure! Just give me a second! Hey there! Thanks! I gotta drive it up to the observatory. Stay here and see if anyone follows me. I get the feeling someone might try and infiltrate the gang tonight. No! Yeah! Oh. Grr. Meet me up there in ten minutes! Sure. Sure. <laughs> I am brilliant at disguises. Oh. All the days to leave my glasses at home! No. Oh.
final shipment. Just arrived. Uh... Excellent. All we need now is the password for the professor's device. I could soften him up. Uh... No need. My men have finally secured the leverage we have been pursuing. Um, but, uh, boss. Oh, I'm sorry, that's just funny. Uh, boss, your camera's at the wrong angle again. What? Botherations! <laughs> Technology! And it's making your voice go funny. Ah! I'll call you later. Professor? That must be Professor Kowalski. Oh, <laughs> how lucky was I to overhear that, eh? That's the truck the imposter was driving! Uh oh, I think my cover's blown. He's gotta be here somewhere! Find him! That was close. I hate you, elevator. will never help you! Oh, really? No! No! <laughs> stop it! No! Stop it! I can't take it anymore! <laughs> That's quite enough, Rex. My dear professor. Oh, hang on. Oh, the silly computer. That's it. My dear Professor Kowalski, please be reasonable. Forrest Blackwell! Forrest Blackwell? You lied to me! You said my research would benefit society! Oh, it will. Just not this society. The society which spurned my gift. The society which made me look like a fool when I offered them paradise. Building your monstrosity in Bluebell National Park would have caused a poisonous fallout. None of the wildlife would have survived. Oh, boo-hoo. Like we don't have enough squirrels. Go on. Do your worst. Professor, I would never hurt you. Oh, my Natalia! I've seen what they're planning! Don't help them! Off you go, my dear. I trust my intentions are clear. Yes, the password for the device is Forest Black Smell. Ah! Ah! Hmm. Looks like it works. Thank you, Professor. Oh. Pupa. Will somebody get me a new computer? What about my daughter? What about her? Oh, Natalia, what have I done? Whoa! Uh, room service? We are out! Oh, brilliant flying, pilot man! Oh, my bad. <laughs> Think you can open it? There you go. Well, I could have done that.
Blackwell's mansion is huge. We should split up. Yes. Good luck, Chase. Did you find Natalia? No, sorry. But it looks like I found Force Blackwell's secret. He's a model-making nerd. He is an evil genius. This is his plan. Look, this is my phase polarity F, my magic bubble. He means to fly to the moon. How? The shuttle on Apollo Island isn't big enough for all his cronies. And you can't exactly hide a giant rocket in Lego City. The countdown, Blackwell Tower. Ellie, you have to get everyone away from Blackwell Tower, now. Okay, but why? Blackwell Tower is a rocket. When it takes off, it'll fry everything within 10 blocks. I'm sending you evidence. Right. Everyone, you need to clear the area! Look, we don't have long, but we may be able to help. How? I'll tell you on the way. We've evacuated all the citizens. I hope you set up those things right, McCain. Me too. There's no way we'll get to a safe distance now, and I don't do well in the heat. I do. Honey, that rocket's flame is gonna be burning at 3,000 degrees. That is hot. I better take off my jacket. How long do we have, Professor? Uh, about minus three seconds. to their computers, I saw that Natalia was on board. What? That was good work, Chase. He is talking to me, right? You've saved a lot of lives today, and uh, I'm a big enough man to admit when I've made a mistake or two, which is still a lot less than you've made. Thanks, Chief. Mayor Gleason, I need a favor. For the man who just stopped Lego City being destroyed? Name it. I still have some people I need to arrest. I'll call Apollo Island right away. I think they've got a shuttle they can lend you. Oh, oh, shotgun! Chase, I have to warn you that takeoff is extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, I think I can handle it, Professor. I've seen the movies. And launching in 10, 9, we do that in case the astronauts change their mind. Oh. Hey, what do you know? In space, you can hear them scream. Well done! You are in outer space! Now, to get to the moon will take almost 10 seconds. Oh, okay, you are about the moon now. What? Uh, yeah, it's really close and very small. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Now, it's time for your spacewalk. You need to prepare very carefully. I want you to check and recheck your suit before you exit the command module. <laughs> sure thing, Professor. <laughs> to that society of blinkered fools. I tried building something truly wonderful for them. A self-contained world which they'd never have to leave. An utopian habitat that catered to their every whim and desire. It was a monument to my 
genius. You were a great man once, Blackwell. But you've gone crazy. Crazy? Your monument was nothing more than an apartment block with a shopping mall. Turn us around. Sorry. <laughs> we're locked in. Bring her over here. Chase! That's pretty low of you, Blackwell. Threatening a lady. Oh, no, no, no. I would never hurt a lady. I just want her to watch you get squashed. Hey there, McCain. Thanks so much for getting me this from the museum. <laughs> wow. That has literally come back to bite me. Whoa, that was close. Be careful. We'll need those energy tanks to run my moon base. No, you do, do ya? Rex, you're fired. And Chase, you're fried. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was an almost drive. Chase, he's... Huh? Command module separation complete. Oh, what? Blackwell, that filthy worm. Self-destructive in now. This isn't the last you've seen of me. I will have my revenge! Huh? Ah! Phew. It's no good, Dad. We can't reach the parachute release! Excuse me. Did anyone order a hero? Chase! Pull that lever! This lever? Okay. What is it? The brakes! Uh-oh. <laughs> Professor Kowalski's on his way. He said the command module will touch down any minute now. And what about the tons of falling debris from the rocket? Don't worry, Chief. I've got you covered. The debris splashed down at sea, Marion. Mind if I park here? Oh, oh, there they are! Congratulations. You've done it again, Chase. Almost. Blackwell got away in an escape pod, and Rex, well, he got away too, I uh... Rex! <laughs> Rex isn't a problem. Oh? He crashed headfirst through someone's roof ten minutes ago. Get this off of me! <laughs> hey, Rex, you don't look very flushed with success. I, uh... Yeah, uh, I thought you should get the arrest this time. You know what? You can have it, Chief. Some things are more important than work. Oh. Yeah, you're talking about video games, right? <laughs>